G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. This time round we're going to have a look at a little project I've started. Uh, as you can see below there's a little bit of electronics going on down there and we'll discuss that in a minute. But basically what I'm trying to do is to make a control panel with LEDs and push button switches that'll interface into my existing DCC system via the LocoNet bus. Now before we get into it I have to um, mention a YouTube channel and I'll put it up on screen Luca Dentella where all this information comes from. It's got some quite uh, interesting videos on control panels and LocoNet and DCC. Very good channel, highly recommend you check it out. So on Luca's channel there was two videos in particular that uh, were involved in this project and if I scroll down here there's one here about LocoNet and building a LocoNet interface and then the other one is up here number eight control panel for LocoNet so the circuitry we have here at the moment basically is just to test that it all works and uh, operate just one turnout on the layout at the moment and then in the future have to modify the uh, program in the Arduino to uh, cover off all my turnouts on my layout. So there's a uh, couple of different boards we need for this project. First one being uh, an Arduino Uno, which is this board here. Or in my case, I'm using an Arduino Mega because it has more digital pins, which we need for the push buttons. That's one board you'll need. And... Um, the other one is the LocoNet interface. This was uh, designed by Luca and you can get the printed circuit board made online. He's made all those files available for you to just order printed circuit boards as you need them. So big thanks to Luca for that. And he's provided a uh, some software, a program to run your Arduino as well, which you can modify to suit your own needs. So also here in the setup we have our push button representing one turnout with two LEDs. So one for the main route, one for the diverging route. So I'll just show you a quick block diagram of how it's all connected here. You've got the two LEDs via the push button and then they're wired into the Arduino on certain pins as you can see there. And then the Arduino pins are also connected to the Loco Net interface board, which then connects to your DCC command station. Now, in my case, I'm using the DigiKeys DR5000 and I'm connecting to the Loco Net T connector with an RJ12 cable. Now, an RJ12 cable has six connectors in it. I made my own cable up, but you can buy them if you wish okay so now in front of us you can see my layout which is represented in iTrain and then I'll have a couple of superimposed pictures here of one of the close-up of the turnout so we can see it operate and another one with the uh, control panel circuitry and the two LEDs representing the two routes of the turnout so now in iTrain if I click on this it'll operate the turnout and the LEDs on my control panel will change as well in response to that. So we'll just give that a flick now. And you can see the LEDs changed over as well. And then we'll go back again. So via the LocoNet bus, the control panel that we've built has responded to any command sent on the DCC. So now it also works in reverse. If I go to my circuit here and press this push button, iTrain will change and the turnout will change. And the LED should change as well. Like so. You can see it changing on iTrain. LEDs are changing and the turnout is operating. So that's the basic setup at the moment that I've built and tested and it all works. Like in terms of this circuit board, 
you can get ones ready made or you can order the printed circuit board put the components on yourself there's not too many components there it's not really that involved so you can do it either way so that all works now really well all we need to do now is to modify the program or the sketch in the Arduino to customize it to my layout and to uh, include all the turnouts I have on there so that's my next challenge we'll see how we go with that so here's the setup I've got two push buttons set up here and the corresponding LEDs for the diverging and straight routes and then that's wired into the Arduino Mega and that's the LocoNet interface there so now hopefully you can see I'll zoom in on the LEDs a little bit okay it might be a bit hard to see the LEDs but at the moment the uh, red LEDs are on for each turnout now if I uh, press one of the push buttons down here just off screen see if I can get it all on the one like that You can see the green lead came on and the uh, turnout switched on the layout and also on the um, iTrain program. And same with this one, we'll flick that one over. It's flicked over and on iTrain we can see that that's uh, switched over as well and we just can switch them back. And like that. So now if we go to the iTrain program, it should change the LEDs on our board here. So we'll just go and do that. So here we are, we operate this turnout here, which is address 23. Flicks over, and the LEDs change, and back again. And then we've got address 22 down here. Give that a flick. Turnout operates, LEDs change. And then this uh, will flick it all back again. So they're all in sync with each other talking on the LocoNet interface. So there we have it. So basically what I did with the sketch was just copy what was already there, just duplicated it and made uh, each address unique. So we can see our two versions of our sketch for the Arduino here. The original one that on Lucas site on the left and the one I modified on the right. So basically on the left here it defines pins 4, 2 and 3 on the Arduino and for a turnout address of 1, DCC address of 1 and then that just goes through and does the switching and everything as per the loco net commands now I'm not going to go too much into how that works I'm not really 100% sure how it all works exactly I have a rough idea but that's about it so on the right, what I've done is you'll notice that I've got address 22 and address 23, that's DCC address for the turnouts. So I've made this button pin on the left and LED pin and diverging LED pin labels, I've made them specific to the address of the turnout. So I've got a set of pins for the address 22 which I've just added 22 to the end of the label and for 23 I've added 23 to the end of the label and I've basically done that all the way down so every section here I've duplicated so for example turn out direction button press 22 and then I've just repeated that for 23 so I've changed all that and the same down here for all these commands I've just basically got one set for address 22 and then I've duplicated that for 23 so I've just added the 23 labels and 22 labels to the end of the button pin lead pin labels and then further down here same thing I've just copied what was over here and just modified it with my new labels so I've changed everything to 22 for address 22 then repeated for 23 and same down the bottom here 
So as I add more turnouts to the control panel, I'll just duplicate that with a new address. I'll define another set of uh, labels and pin allocations on the um, Arduino. So these are the pin numbers used on the Arduino. And uh, that should all work fine. And then this part defines what pin mode the pins are in on the Arduino. So yeah. So that's all work. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work when I add more in there. So that's pretty much it for the uh, sketch for the Arduino. So hopefully that'll help someone out there. Yeah, that's all for now. This is John at Wimble Train saying enjoy your model railway as much as you can. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.